Let's see what the rappers are actually sad about here. Thumbnail looks crazy as hell. I see a bunch of pills and I don't know what kind of contacts those are, but it looks insane. Whoa, that looks so trippy, yo. Where'd all these suicidal sad rappers come from? Mm -hmm. They shot up with those mumble rapper dum dums. Oh, they've been preying on people with mental illness and pretending to relate to get paid in creative business. Mm -hmm. They claim to be anxious, say they're depressed. They're faking it to gain something in common with some fans for a check. It's oh. overdiagnosed, so it's becoming a trend to say you're crazy or insane or that you're sick in the head. Okay. They romanticize the mental pain we're barely surviving, and then they glorify the men and women losing their lives. I'm talking Cobain, Lil Peep, Winehouse, Jackson, Williams, Cornell, Bennington. Imagine all that. We got a little bit to unpack here right now, right? I want to start off with what he's saying about the artists who are pretending to have certain depressions or mental issues just to relate to a certain fan base so they can get views and get money off of them. For the people who are actually doing that, you're the scums of the earth, okay? People who take advantage of people who actually do need help just to make money from it and not actually help the cause. The people who are pushing the music, they do the market research and then they push artists to push that kind of music so they can make more money. Uh, glorifying all of the famous people that died from drug overdoses. I mean, there's a lot of them, right? Like Michael Jackson, Mac Miller, Lil Xan, did Lil Xan die? I don't know, he probably will. Who, who knows because they all like to do drugs so it's eventually gonna happen and then their fans act so surprised when they overdose on the drugs that they abuse come on the icons that we bury probably turning in their graves that they can witness how the sickness getting used to get paid these rappers fabricating symptoms for fame their mental illness is the money Damn. and mind started riding their brains, fabricating yeah. symptoms for fame is he in a what's that thing Oh, I like this hook. This hook is pretty dope. He looks so trippy right now. People die from depression. These rappers cry for attention. And it's in every single genre you could possibly mention. From pop to electronic to rock to indie to grunge. They're trying to hook you into using the music like it's a drug. I like that. I've read a lot of uh, comments about Tom McDonald. Cultural appropriating the rap community somehow and using that to talk bad about the rap community. I mean, he's just pointing out things that he's analyzing that we can all analyze. But what he just said here, he mentioned all of the other genres and subgenres that are doing the same thing. Whatever genre there is to take advantage of, there are gonna be those scumbags who take advantage of it. Mention, from pop to electronic to rock to indie to grunge, they're trying to hook you into using the music like it's a drug that you addicted to artists they manufacture to target a lot of people in therapy trying to deal with their hardships. Mm. Crafted and marketed till they had you convinced that if you follow that person, they make you fine in your skin. They ain't really trying to help you. They don't want to make you better it's a lie they're trying to sell you so you always buy the records if you want to know the truth they want you struggling forever so you look to them for answers with your visa or your debit all right that's my question right about mr mcdonald here exactly who are you preaching to right because your audience obviously is going to agree with what you're saying but the other side won't hear you because if i introduce you to someone you know who's listening to mumble rap do you think they're going to take mr mcdonald serious right so i'm not i'm not saying this is a bad thing what i'm saying is is all of what he's going through is it a effective is his message getting across to the people that it should be getting across to if noise starts to happen you know if him and other rappers and other people start speaking about these things the industry has the power to just basically shadow ban you and remove you from the face of the earth and whoever is your loyal fan base is going to follow you but when it comes to your videos popping up in places they can do things to stop well to prevent your music from spreading it's a fight that has to go on for the long haul. It's like the record labels working for pharma. They made anxiety trendy by using popular artists that used the rappers to promote prescription pills to the audience. They created the problem to sell you pills that would solve them. It's brilliant. Hey, you know, that's a funny, uh, that example of them influencing the audience to a degree, the people who actually get influenced by it, because not all of them do. I remember listening or reading, I don't know where it was, a story of Michelin, you know, the tires, uh, the Michelin star, which is a, a restaurant rating or whatever. Back in the day, uh, people weren't really driving their cars that much. So people weren't really buying tires and Michelin makes tires. So they decided to make some kind of a brochure, I guess it was, and they would give restaurants ratings and then the restaurants that had higher ratings some of them were out of the vicinity of where people live so if you see a restaurant with like high stars you're like oh that's really nice we should probably go there once you go out of your way to buy to go to that restaurant you're putting more mileage on your tires so you're using them more so you're you're obviously going to have to get tires sooner. I don't know if I'm making any sense. If you guys, if that story, that story may have been complete BS, but I remember hearing it somewhere, so don't quote me. Anyway, let's continue. I like that color. Eyes, 
y'all guys don't know how we feel. Y'all ain't real enough to deal with us. Oh man, that is Nova is a monster. I like the I like the colors going on here. They just want to get paid. I spend all my money on medicine. Mm. Spend all your money on chain. Mm. Y'all just exploiting the misery. Popping Zannies to fade. Well, I'm throwing ones into therapy. Cause all I know is rain. It's so funny how the rapper who talks about real life shit and stresses of what people are going on is labeled as some corny white rapper that needs to shut up and go back to his country, right? I understand you can have your opinions, right? You may not like his sound, his flow, his delivery, or whatever it is, but the message is what he's saying here, not accurate to a degree, right? There's way more than we could ever imagine going on and how they sell and market to people. For the people who fall prey to it, it's extremely sad. It's just sad that he gets labeled instantly Corny, right? <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, right? Whatever. Y'all ain't real from the chains to the gear to the grills. Now it's pain, talking tears, taking pills. Y'all ain't real. I can see it in your eyes, all lies. Y'all guys don't know how we feel. Y'all ain't real enough to deal with us. I like that scene because he's with the people, right? Y'all just make believe you claim to be the same as me. Nah, 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 nah. Y'all ain't real. Chains to the gear to the grill, so they're waking up now. Talking tears, taking pills. Y'all ain't real. See it in your eyes, all lies. Y'all guys don't know how we feel. Y'all ain't real. Enough. That scene right there just shows you. Nah, nah, oh, nah, that's nah, sad. Nah. It's like, just it's like my grandmother. If you claim to be the same as me, nah, 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 nah. Ooh. Tom McDonald, sad rappers. I want you guys to let me know what you think about this one in the comment section down below. What, what I want to ask again in the comment section for you guys to answer Do you think his messaging is effective? Do you think people are actually. That, that are not Tom McDonald fans or are listening to his message, or do you think people are just instantly writing it off? Is his efforts gonna pay out in the short term, or do you think he's doing more of a long term kind of thing? Because I think it's more of a long term thing, because you know, like they say, Rome was not built in a day. Over time, you get more artists speaking about these kind of issues. It will eventually get there, right? I like the scene where he's in the room with all of the people, right, who are going through these things. What that says to me is that he is there with the people, unlike some of the artists he's speaking about who are up in the cloud somewhere, and most of them don't take drugs. I could probably guarantee you that. They, they rap about it because it sounds cool. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Peace.